All right, everybody, welcome back to today's the fifth day, January 5th of Quest Calendars, the Leaf Riders of Renwood 2024. Uh, for those who are just catching up with us, uh, yesterday we kind of investigated a room underneath the burrows that had some scratching in it, and uh, a hole opened up underneath us. And so now we're going to see what's going on with that hole. Friday, January 5th, 2024. You find yourself in a long tunnel that seems to run endlessly in either direction. At one end, glowing eyes begin to reveal ugly and dangerous insects. The chatter and chip as they rush after you with sharp claws and weapons. Roll a d20 plus attack damage is d20... A d20 plus attack damage, d20 plus defense for each enemy. All right, and there are three in enemies, insect one, two, and three. Okay. Now we do have the, oh, let's open up our character sheet for attack, refresh daily uh, things. We do have inventory. We do have dragon's fire, which I could do to add a d4 to a single damage roll. Uh, but we'll get to that. So for combat, there is a combat rule here. Whoops. Excuse me. Combat, combat, combat. There it is. <clears throat> in most combat encounters, you set a number of rounds. You get a set number of rounds to fight. In each round, you get an attack roll, D20 plus your attack modifier. Um, a damage roll, damage dice depends on the hero and level, and a defense roll, D20 plus your defense modifier. If you successfully hit with your attack and then do enough damage, you avoid taking damage that round. If you do not hit or deal enough damage, then your defense will help reduce incoming damage. Other combat encounters follow particular rules uh, and will be described when you encounter them. For abilities, you may decide to use them once you see the outcome of a round, the complete rules regarding combat difficulty. You can use healing abilities in the middle of a combat page between rounds. During combat, a health potion can only be used at the beginning or end of a page, not in the middle of combat rounds. You can use other items in the middle of combat, such as Dragon's Fire or Combat Tactic, but not a med kit or a tonic, excuse me. Okay. We'll worry about dealing with if we lose the character. All right, all right, all right. so let's get to it. Um, <clears throat> you will only engage each enemy in a single round of combat, regardless of whether you defeat them or not. Use the numbers next to each enemy below for their combat stats. Enemy 1 has a defense of 9, health of 4, attack of 9. I don't know what these scratches are. Claw 2. Lots of claws. Okay, partial damage, full damage. Full damage is two, partial damage is one. All right, all right. So we roll, let's, okay, let's do this. <clears throat> We're going to use our lovely Meccano die again. All right, so let's see. We roll the attack. Three, that fails. Our attack is two, that's five. Defense is nine, so that missed. If your attack roll equals or exceeds, otherwise we miss. If you miss, the enemy does not die, it attacks you. So then we roll defense. So yeah, d20 plus defense. That's an eight plus two is 10. If your defense roll equals or exceeds the attack, their attack is a nine. Reduce your health by the enemy's partial damage. All right, so we took one damage from the first one. Yikes. Yikes. The insect chart. So we come at it with our... What are we even using? What's our weapon? I think we have a staff. We see the first one coming at us. We use our staff to swing down. However, it's too fast. It dodges and charges from the end of the tunnel and quickly swipes at us with its claws. We dodge most of it, but it grazes us in the shoulder. The second one... Insect throws sharp spikes at us from the darkness beyond. Oh, wait, we have abilities. Um, 
One time per page. Reroll any d20 plus dex roll. Oh, that would have been cool. Surges. You have one surge you can use to activate surge abilities. Okay, so this is to a single damage roll. We could do that. Okay. If we hit. Um, so yeah. Uh, the second, the first one snags us in the shoulder. We go on to the second one, charging up with our staff. 12 plus 2, 14. Its defense is 11. We got it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. If you hit and your damage roll equals, so now we have to do damage. Our damage is a D8. Okay, I see that right here. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and just roll that. Where's our Mechano die? There we go. D8. One. <laughs> um... Surge you can use to activate surge actions, regain. Yeah, we'll surge. Boom, surge. We're going to Gale Strike, D4. Come on, four. Hey, that's a four. Five points of damage. So we power up our staff with the mighty element of wind, bringing it down hard on top of this insect's head. That just leaves one final one. If you hit and your damage equals or exceeds the health, the enemy dies, does no damage. Boom. So he's gonzoed. Um, and then second one, or third one, the insect comes up to you and thrusts a spear at you. But before it does, we get our own spear attack. Well, our own staff attack. Uh, that's a yikes. Two plus two is four. Not happening. His defense is 10. Uh, so let's see what our defense is. That's a six plus two is eight. Its attack is 12. Oh, full damage. Boom, boom. Down to six. Yikes. We did not kill. If you did not kill all the insects, you flee from, they flee from you in terror. We killed one, and that was enough. We killed their strongest, their tankiest one. Not their strongest. Uh, so we pick up, if you killed one enemy, collect one amber. Nice. So we got one amber, and the insects flee from the tunnel. So uh, I was theorizing that it was insects. Somebody in the comments, uh, I do appreciate it. Um, they did not think it was insects. What did they think it was? They went with rats. Yeah, Deadshot thought it was rats. So it is not rats. It is another vermin. It is insects. So we'll see what we're doing. We're probably going to have to go back to Sergeant Furfoot and let him know what's going on with these insects uh, tomorrow. So stay tuned. Catch us tomorrow. Uh, hope to see you all there. Thank you all so much for joining us. Um, but yeah, hope you all are enjoying this as much as I am. This is, this is really cool. Uh, until next time. Thank you all for coming and remember, stay safe out there.